everyone, Mark here and welcome to another install video. Now it's been a few years since we did our first install video so we thought we'd refresh it and update it and when better to do it than we're fitting out our own demo van. So here we have the new Transit Custom, it's a 2021 model, um, it's the long wheelbase so it's the L2H1 and we're going to fit it out with Sortimo SR5 racking. Now that's something I designed myself, um, it's based on my last van so you can have a look at the, the links in the post just to see uh, what that looked like. I've made some tweaks to it to make it work a little bit better for me. So what we're going to do, first of all, well what we've done, first of all, we've stripped out the van. So really what we've done, we've taken out the plastic load liner because we're going to put in the grey uh, Sobo Pro non-slip floor. And then we're going to get the racking lifted in and we're going to mark out the holes and get it bolted down. So let's watch us fit some racking. Right, so we've got the floor in now. Um, we haven't put any of the brackets that hold the floor down because what we're going to need to do is get this out again. But as you can see, it's a nice grey non-slip floor. It comes in two pieces and it slots together. And with the Sobo Pro 4, you get all these tie-down points down the middle. So um, once the racking's in place here, these tie points will be exposed. So we'll be able to strap stuff down to the middle. That's really important because what you don't want to do is spend uh, money on decent racking and then have stuff put in the back, boilers, electrical casings, sliding around, smashing up your floor and your new racking. Um, and you can get bungees, tie downs, all sorts of things for these. You can even use standard bungees and tie downs. So the next thing we're gonna have to do now is get the racking in here and do a test fit. <laughs> Right, that's it, we've got all the racking in there and as you saw in super quick time and that's the end of the video. No, not really, okay, so we've only just put it in there, nothing's bolted in yet, so if I drive away that's gonna fall all over the place. But what we have done is kind of lined it all up where we want it. Now there's a couple of important things that we've got to consider, especially on the Transit Custom. If you see over here, you've got these door check straps. Now on the Volkswagens, they nicely disappear inside, but these actually come into the van. So if you come around here and look, we've had to just make sure that that's not gonna foul on anything. Uh, the other thing that we got here is the vice, so we're going to have to make sure that that folds out here. And obviously, the way I want it is so that the jaws are out here, so you can put anything longer on. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be coming up against here. So I'm really happy with the position of that one. Uh, this side is sat a bit further back. Um, so there's plenty more space so we don't have to worry about and then I've got this area here where I can put other bits of kit. I've got that lovely bit of floor space and you can see right up the front of the van on the bulkhead we've got the, the bench unit. Now obviously all bar one of the drawers has been taken out. Um, that's again to make it lighter. Uh, the next job for us is now we've got the floor um, in the right place is to have a look where the brackets are going to go. We need to make sure, especially on this height racking, um, we've got at least two brackets on each pillar. That's going to make it nice and strong, fix it to the van, and make sure that we've got the three-year warranty and crash safety cert. Let's get on and mark those holes. Right, we've just spent a little bit of time measuring this because it's really important now that we make sure everything's in the right place. Now earlier on we showed you there was a bit of a gap here, but I've decided now, I've actually pulled this rack in as for, far forward or far to the rear of the van as I can get it. And I've left a space up the front because what I am going to do is fit an inverter and a split charge battery system. So there's a nice space up there now for us to build a box. And this space kind of felt a little bit wasted and we've again made sure the check straps there weren't catching on anything. So now we know that racking is level, we can take a, a sharpie pen that I found earlier and I'm going to mark those holes and next thing we can do when we know where the floor holes are is start to put the wall brackets in and then it's all got to come out again for drilling. So let's crack on. And now we know we've got this one all fixed in place and we've marked those holes. Uh, the next thing to do is just to make sure that one is too. I've checked up the gap behind here. I'm happy that I'll be able to get the linings in. And uh, I've measured across between here and here, because I know that's straight, and here and there, to make sure that's parallel. And then finally, what we'll do, we're just gonna step back from the job and have a look, and, and just visually see 
that it's all looking parallel because ultimately you know we're vans are all curvy and movy and you can't put a, a spirit level on them because the van could be sitting funny so the last final check is visually does it look right and at the moment i'm pretty happy with it everything looks good so you know i'm gonna have to be looking at this van for at least another four years uh the last thing i want to do is see something that's out of line right next job is brackets they all come in these handy bags so there's a basically a wall fixing kit we've got a short and a long bracket and actually we can get various different sizes brackets but really you want to keep the bracket as short as possible so we're always going to use a short one i'll just get one out of the bag so this is uh, one of the shortest brackets this is one of the longest obviously the longer the bracket we go the more chance there is for flex so where we have to we'll use a long bracket uh, where we uh, you know most of the time we're going to be using these ecofix 165s i've already cited out a few places just from experience where i know these are going to go i'm going to fit one of the longer ones up onto here now there's a rail uh, and we'll show you that in a minute when we get to that stage that runs in the back and we're going to drop in and then that will bolt into there and we can kind of fix off of here somewhere now there's a double skin up here on this one um, so I'm probably going to just come down a bit and go somewhere around here and we'll mark a hole. And then this one here, the shorter one, we've also got this fixing rail at the back of the racking with all these holes in. So what I'm going to do is bend a, a bracket in and we'll have a hole here somewhere. And we'll do exactly the same on this side. We have a very special tool a bracket bender tool and I'll show you how to use that one in a minute although uh, this one comes from Germany it's one that's uh, supplied from Sortimo uh, most people you're not going to have one of these so uh, a vice or some grips to be able to bend these or you come to us and we do it properly uh, so next we're just going to get on and start working out where the brackets are going to go right I'm going to take out the top cap on here uh, they just slide into place and I've got this little connector here uh, with two 6mm threads and that drops down into a channel in here. So we can drop that down. Now if I let that go it's going to drop all the way to the floor. I'm going to put that bracket on there and you can see we've got some ability to slide that about. So I can see from there that actually, like I said, I'm going to try and avoid that double skin in here. So coming down here I know I've got plenty of depth. I'm just going to mark that around that and then I know where I'm going to be able to put a hole but excuse me for having a pen in the mouth if I tighten that up flat you can see the bracket is going to be way out here just going to use this bracket bender and again just from experience just going to put a slight tweak in that bring that back around that way See my join has now dropped down here. Now I'm going to check to see whether I've over or underdone it. So if I push that back there, I can see I'm just under. I need a little bit more of a tweak on here. Not too much is amazing actually how much a small tweak on that can. So yeah, now I'm flush on that. I can see my line. I'm pretty happy with that bracket. I'm not tilting this over too far either. And basically that is the process for bending and fitting brackets. We're gonna repeat that. We're gonna have two brackets here, two there, two on that end, two in the middle and two at the other end. Once we've done all that and we've uh, put a pen mark in the holes, really it's time to take the racking out, drill the holes and, uh, and then put the nut sets in. So we'll show you that one next. <laughs> So all the brackets, we've taken these fresh straight brackets as we've shown them, we've, uh, we've bent them into shape, I've written on them where they go, so if they get mixed up uh, we're not going to spend our time kind of trying to find where we are, which has happened before. Um, so that's really stage one done, everything's marked and we're ready to start drilling. Uh, so really it's a case of getting everything out of the van now, um, stacking it away safely and then we're gonna get drilling uh, into the wall, and fit in the nut certs, and we've got to drill into the floor and fit 
the tea nuts. We're kind of running out of uh, light today. Let's pack away and then come back here tomorrow and have another go. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the channel. We shall be back with some more drilling and fitting and then after that, we shall be fitting some of the thermal linings. So stay tuned, see you tomorrow. Well, good morning everyone. We are on day two of the installation. Um, we only had a few hours yesterday actually. Work commitments uh, didn't allow us to start until later in the day. And uh, as you saw yesterday, the light was fading. Um, like I said, it is uh, November time, so we are losing the light rapidly. But today is a nice, cool, sunny day and we're back. And we're gonna smash this one out today. So I just wanna recap where we are. We've just, we've pulled out all the racking now. So you can see the van's empty. And our next job is to pull this floor out. Now you can see, we've got some black marks here. Up there, there, there. They are all the floor markings that we've got to drill and we've got to put the T-nuts in. And we also have some marks uh, here. There's some on the back side and there's some along there and they are our wall fixings. So we're gonna to have to drill those wall fixings and put T-nuts in and that's gonna create the thread. Now in addition to this, we're gonna be fitting thermal linings. That gives us another element of uh, something that we're gonna to need to cut out little letter boxes because we want those brackets to be metal to metal and not crushing uh, the linings. Because if you put um, those over the linings, um, you're not gonna get that full metal to metal contact. It's not gonna be as strong. If you opt for the Sortimo linings, now they're non-thermal, they actually fit in replacement of these. So of course all these beams are exposed and that's a lot easier for fitting. I, I decide to go for thermal linings. Um, it'll keep the temperature cooler in here in the summer because it does get hot and I've got the roof linings and everything, but it obviously just adds that additional piece of work in. So next we're gonna grab this floor out. We're gonna start drilling some holes. Right, if you want the floors out, so we're not, we know we're not gonna make a mess of that um, and it's easier to tidy up and also we got the floor. As you can see down there, that one's ready for us to drill all the floor fixings. I'm just gonna show you now how we go about drilling uh, these holes. I've got a six and a half mil drill. I mean, it's a piloting drill. Um, we use this one actually because of uh, us um, uh, cutting out rivets for some of the other racking we fit. So that's why we use a six and a half. And you can see I've got a bit of tubing over the end there. Um, so I'm gonna use that tubing as a, as a bit of a drill stop because what you don't wanna do, especially when you get to here, is going through the side of the van. So let's drill this one out first. Yeah. Okay, so there's the pilot. Um, just to let you know as well, I've checked in advance, there is a wiring loom here, um, but it's pushed nicely back out of the way. What you don't wanna be doing um, is drilling for any wiring. I've got the, uh, the bigger drill, which is the 12 mil. Um, I'm gonna open out that hole. As you can see, this makes uh, quite a lot of swarf, so really need to be careful to clean this up because bits of metal over the bumper, when it gets wet, they're gonna rust. Next thing for us to do, now we've got a nice hole there. Um, if that was an external hole, we'd probably wanna treat it with some kind of rust cure, but actually it's an internal hole, it's still got the paint on there, so I'm happy uh, that that's not gonna need treating. Obviously, if you want to, to make doubly sure, you can treat those holes uh, with some kind of rust cure. Uh, so next, let's put the nutsert in. Okay, so this is the nutsert tool we use. It's a bit of a heavy duty one. You can get an air version of this, very expensive. They're over a thousand pounds for the amount of work we do. Uh, it just wouldn't speed us up enough uh, for doing it. You can also get a smaller version at this at tool station, screw fix, which is kind of a handheld one. Um, I think they're about 30 or 40 pounds, but you will definitely need something like this. So in the installation pack, um, you get with a racket, you get everything that you're gonna need in there. And here, this little top hat, is the nutsert. And you see what we do with this. I'm gonna back off this. I'm gonna wind that on until I can sort of see the thread there. And I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen is as we pull that in, 
you can see how it pulls in behind and that's going to secure that in that hole. Obviously that one's now a dead one. Let's get another one on. We're going to get that in the hole. Make sure she's nicely seated and just pull down. And you can see now it's still a bit loose. So I'm going to wind that out a bit more. And do it again. So you can wind this thread in. I still feel it's not quite there. You just want a little bit of pressure on that. I can feel that that's quite well in. Now I'm going to wind this thread out. And what that's done, it's created, you know, almost an OE type of hole. And of course, what will happen is our bolts will go into that. That's really strong, really secure. You know, it's not like using uh, like the roofing screws. Can't remember what they're called at the moment <laughs> um, in there because they can pull out. And, and also, like in this situation, we could get a nut and a bolt in there. I can get my hand up, that's fine. But in a situation like this, you just can't get a nut on the back. So these are really good uh, when you haven't got access behind. So now I've got to go around the van and stick the rest of those in. So let's uh, speed up the process. All those nut certs are now in in super quick time. You can see uh, we've got them all the way along here. Um, and all the way along that side. So that's now ready uh, for the racking to be bolted in. Obviously, as I said earlier, we've got to make sure we cut around the linings. Now, while I've been doing that, Rich has been here drilling a lot of holes. I'm just going to show you how we uh, drill the floor. And when we showed you this floor earlier on, um, we showed you how we got the markings in there. Now, on this one, we're at a slight angle because when I had to put the pen in, I had to put it in this way. So I'm going to come just off the line a little bit and we're just using a, a centering drill on that. Okay, so I'm going to go through there. And then we're going to go down here. So that's our centering drill. And then I think the battery's dying on this drill. Yeah. Let's see if we can get the last ones in there. Yes got the best out of that drill. I think that needs a recharge now. So what we're going to do, I'm going to flip this one over so you can see all the other holes are drilled. And I'm just going to show you how to put in a couple of the T-nuts. So you can see here the holes we've drilled. Now these T-nuts here, they've got a thread in the middle and they've got these little teeth on the outside. So just line them up with a hole. Tap them in. And now, um, so now we can see that we got those threads in there. So I just need to go around the rest, do those, and then we can lift the floor in. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's next. We'll do that, lift it in, and off we go. Right, the floor's back in. We've yet to bolt it down, because what I need to do next is check the linings. I need to see if the linings are gonna fit. They should fit above the floor, but obviously I don't wanna put any brackets in until we've done our first test fit. But you can see here, um, the nuts at holes that we've got in place and they're ready to accept the racking. The floor's all nicely lined up with this seam. There's some joiners that are gonna go in the middle, but we'll show you that in a minute. Um, but just wanted to show you, you know, how these, how we put, so we've got the threads in the floor, we've got the threads in the wall, we've shown you how to do that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try the linings, then we'll have to cut the linings to accept the holes that we've made. And then finally, we can get on and fit some racking. We are now on to phase two of the operation. We've unpacked this lining kit. So this is a Legend Fleet thermal lining kit. Like I said to you before, the Sortimo linings, they fit uh, inside these, so you don't really have to worry about cutting them, but I wanted to try these thermal linings out in the van this time. Um, but as you can see, there's the thermal backing. So they're gonna greatly reduce the heat and hopefully some of the condensation in the van too. They're quite thick. 
So you've got that back in there. They're quite durable and actually they're quite light too. Just wait for that motorbike to go, thank you very much. And what we've got to do now, actually on this side, there is one hole that's gonna be covered by this. So we need to figure out where that's gonna be and cut a notch out. And then on the linings on this side, uh, we've got the forward one in. Uh, there's two holes behind that and there's two holes here that are gonna need cutting out as well. So that's our next thing. Start getting in there, cutting out the holes, and we'll come back to you when we've done all that and, uh, and show you how it looks. As you can see now, we've got our front end lining in there, and you can see it was really easy to fit actually, and you can see our bolts sticking through, uh, so where we've um, notched out the holes. So I just wanna show you how we've done it. Where we've put our nut certs in on this one, uh, you can see we just put two bolts. Now on this lining, unlike ply, it marks quite easily on the back end. So the easiest way for us to do it is to put this up, just make sure it's tucked in nicely there. So we want to make sure this is in the right place for final fit. So I'm just checking in up there. That's all good. We're lined up quite nicely there. So I know my um, fixings are about here. In fact, I can feel them now. I'm gonna drop that down and you can see we've marked two holes. Let me just bring this out of the van. So I've got this out of the van now and you can see that one's quite faint but it's just there. So I'm just gonna go with a... Punch that first hole out. Could have done with this one being a bit more. So we're going in from the back. There's our two holes. Take off any loose edges. So it's obviously gonna tear when we put it through. There's not a lot we can do about that unfortunately, unless you know a better way. So push that back in now, and as you can see, we've got our two bolt holes ready to go. So all I'm gonna to need to do is go around this, put in the screws. So these linings that we supply come with these screws, uh, self-drilling screws, quite easy to fit. So we'll get that lining on, get the one on the other side, and uh, then we're gonna tackle the roof. That one, I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> Right, so everything's in now. The linings are in, uh, the holes are lined up, and the floor is now properly fitted. You'll see that actually one of the advantages of a Sortimo floor, it does not fix through the, the pan of the floor of the van. So uh, you're not ruining it, you're not putting holes and everything in there. Um, but so it uses these brackets on the original tie down. So there's a bracket there and there, and there's a few more. And that really holds the floor down quite solid. You can see the linings are in. Um, and yeah, now it's time for us to get the racking in and do that final fit. I'm really looking forward to this bit because it's when the van comes together. There's a lot of in and out and to in and fro in, but this is the final fit. And this is where it's gonna start to look good. So let's get fitting.
see here, I've fitted the first bracket on this side, it's fitted to the wall and it's fitted to this back panel here. And then one of the other holes we put in earlier, so that's gonna go on there and that lines up with that panel on that one. So I'm gonna line that one up and then that's the two brackets on this side done. That's it, we're at the end of the video. The racking's installed, a lot of hard work's been done, and I hope you've learned a thing or two and enjoyed the video as well. So now the time you've been waiting for, it's the big reveal. Let's take a look inside. Well, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the video and the work that we've done. You know, this was designed by me from start to finish. And if you want something similar, please do get in touch. Um, we haven't gone through all the features of this, the vice, the slide outs. That will be coming in a future video in a couple of weeks time. We'll do a complete van walkthrough. So if you're interested, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell uh, so you're notified of when that video comes and we'll do a complete walkthrough, show you how. Because now I've got to fit all my stuff in it. It's all very nice having a nice shiny empty van, but I know you guys want to see it with stuff in it. So we'll do a complete walkthrough video in a few weeks time. So all I can say is thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and we'll see you again soon.